My name is John Barker, aka your grandma's favorite pit master, aka Long John Silver. Silver's not supposed to be plural, right? This is Long John Silver. This is the Skull and Mortar Kitchen, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pineapple, pineapple? Well, I'm dying on the vine over here today. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a pineapple hot chicken that is both delicious and flavorful and full of good spices that'll make you the king of your backyard barbecue this summer. All right guys, as you know, chicken can be kind of expensive these days. It's still really cheap if you buy it all together though, comparatively speaking. So we're gonna start with a whole chicken. We're just gonna open that guy up. Oh God, juice everywhere. Uh, try not to get chicken juice everywhere unless you enjoy salmonella. And from here, we're just gonna break the chicken down. We don't need the chicken neck, which looks like the chicken dick. We don't need this bag of crap that's up here in some of them. Nope, this one's clear. If you don't know how to break down a chicken, I'm gonna show you. So the first thing you wanna do is have it spine up, okay? We're gonna cut out the spine right away. I like to use kitchen shears for this, but you can use a knife, uh, whatever tickles your fancy. I just like to get in there and pop right through those bones. I feel like it gives me a little more leverage. And I'm not stuck dicking around for 20 minutes trying to figure out if I'm in the spine or not. Now we gotta get rid of the spine altogether. So we're gonna take our spine and we're just gonna cut down the other side. Deuces, say goodbye to the spine. Now we're gonna flip our chicken over. Oh, here's the gizzards and all that crap. They just didn't put them in a bag. So we're gonna dump those, we don't need them. Now we're gonna flip our chicken over, and here comes the fun part, guys. We're gonna break this MFer's ribs. I'm just kidding, it's not really fun, but it does make a noise that freaks out my wife, and I do like that. Oh yeah, you guys hear that? I hope that translates well. So, now we got a good flat chicken. This is gonna give us a good base for starting. Now, I'm gonna grab my Vostied Hackney knife, and we're gonna give it a go here, too, and kinda see what this bad boy is all about. But the first thing I wanna do is I kinda wanna mark down the sternum, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and trim away. Man, this knife is cuts right through it like butter. All right, guys, so I'm gonna leave my wings and my breasts together, because I'm just basically making chicken quarters here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the skin around that thigh. We're gonna get in there. Uh, you're gonna find your thigh, your uh, hip joint, and you're just gonna pop that knife right in between it. It should cut straight through if you got yourself a decent Vasti knife. You can cut right through that bad boy. So we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do the same again. Gently clear away the skin. Gently break away that tissue in there so you can see what's going down and cut right through it. Now, from here, you have the option of trying to bowl through this thing with your knife, but again, again, if you got good kitchen shears, this is what they're made for, so don't be afraid to use them, all right? Now you have two options here. You can remove the breastplate from the chicken or you can leave it on. I like the extra flavor it adds, and I think it kind of creates a little stability with the uh, meat. So from here on out, it's all easy, guys. We're gonna flip these over. We want the back sides up front. You know what, when I had this chicken kind of opened up like that, I thought it looked familiar. And it's weird because Terry's mom just called me right afterwards and everything came together, right? Anyway, the next step of this is easy and it's gonna piss Terry off. We're gonna take our spray oil. Yes, really spray oil. And we are just gonna give that a good coating of spray oil. This oil does two things. One, it puts some fat all over the chicken. That's good. Two, it allows you to rub the stick nicely. We're gonna grab our gravestones. It is our hot white rub. And we are gonna give this bad boy a good coating. All right, it's excellent. It's basically like an awesome SPG rub. It like steps the game up. It's got some different peppers and spices. <laughs> Second thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab our skull and mortar rub. Looking sexy as possible, check that out. Now, both of these rubs are available at skullandmortar.com. Now, if you're not able to get the, uh, these rubs, just grab rubs that you like. Get a good all-purpose barbecue rub, get a nice spicy rub, and then rub it on up. But of course, uh, skullandmortar.com does help us out here at the channel, so. Now we're gonna flip over our meat, boom. Basically, repeat the same process. This rub is gonna add flavor. Uh, it's gonna add a great flavor profile, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of kick, some peppery notes, but it's also gonna help make that color 
a nice brown color. That, um, now, this is all the prep that we're doing at this point in time. So we're gonna grab our chicken and we're gonna throw it on the smoker. I got the smoker going at roughly 300 degrees. I think it's gonna take about two and a half, maybe three hours, but we're gonna check it at an hour and a half to see what's going on. We're looking for an internal temperature of 165 degrees because nobody except for maybe Terry likes raw chicken. And that's because Terry's a dumbass. get together our pineapple part of the dish. Again, this is gonna have a lot of fruit flavor in it. So for this, I'm using a honeydew pineapple. You might notice that this bad boy doesn't look like a regular pineapple. It's a little bit smaller and it's a little more yellow. It's also a little sweeter. Get our trusty Vastid Hackney knife. Now, most of the time I just cut the skin off, but I realized that I had this uh, pineapple core and slicer that apparently has been in the drawer for God knows how many years and never been used. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna push that straight down on the core, give it a twist. Theoretically, this should give us a spiral cut right down into the pineapple while leaving minimal waste. I don't know how it's still going. And with not too much effort, it comes straight out. Man, freaking done, son. Slide this out. Guys, so we're just gonna flip these sideways and we're just gonna run our knife right through here. Again, Vasti getting it done. Guys, now we're just gonna lay our pineapple out across our cookie sheet. So we're gonna come across here and we're gonna put some more of that gravestones right over the top. The sweet, the salty, the spice. It's gonna be fire, guys. But again, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go over it with that skull and mortar OG rub. And we're gonna go back over it with just a sugar, uh, a sugar and cinnamon 50-50 blend. This is gonna help kind of macerate those pineapples. Macerate, Terry. And we're just gonna take a couple of pads here, just enough to add some fullness and flavor to the pineapple without overdoing it. So we're just gonna throw this directly onto our cookie sheet. And that's all we need to do to prep our pineapple. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw our pineapple on the smoker. We're gonna throw it on there for roughly an hour or so. Same 300 degree temperature. We're gonna set it further away from the fire source because we don't want it to get hit quite as hard as we're willing to get the chicken hit, right? So this is gonna go on the smoker. All right, guys, we're gonna get our smoker open. Our pineapple is still looking juicy, but delicious. Our pineapple express is in hand. This right here is the magic ingredient. Look at our chicken. It's a sultry 160 degrees right now, so we're about five degrees off. What we're gonna do is we're just going to hit it with some of that pineapple express. You can get that over at skullandmortar.com. Now you wanna get that kind of spread out as quick as you can. Be careful not to bust up your rub here. Just kind of tap it around on there. And then guys, just grab yourself some pineapple, drop it right on top of your chicken. Now you wanted to wait till the end to do this, just cause you want your skin to stay nice and firm. I have two extra pieces of pineapple, so I'm gonna take these sons of bitches and I'm gonna eat them right now. But that's it guys, we're gonna give this about 15 to 20 more minutes, should get it up to temperature, and then it's time to eat. Guys, we're done. Look at how fuego this looks. It is off the hook. We used a little bit of the Pineapple Express. We used a little bit of the Gravestones. We used a little bit of the original rub here at Skull and Mortar. And this is our end product. Delicious, spicy, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's salty, it's savory, it's delicious. Let us get a bite of this pineapple smoked spicy chicken. Tell you what, it'll clear your nostrils right out. Whew, that's spicy, it's good. That chicken is succulent, hell yeah. Guys, it's a hit, it's super easy to make. 
It doesn't require a whole lot of skill, but it is delicious. Do the basics right. That's it for this week. If you like this video, if there's something in here that you can use, some sort of information, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, leave a comment. All that stuff is free and it helps the channel out. So I appreciate everyone who does that. We'll see you again with a brand new recipe sooner rather than later. My tongue is on fire.